Probably the better time of mm -hmm. the day to be running around. Typically we get up into the 90s today. No exception to that. We hit 94 degrees on average. This is going back all the way to the 1800s. Uh, the average high temperature is 90 on 4th of July in Corpus Christi. Hottest one ever was in 2009 hit 102. Rainiest 2007 that was three and a half inches of rain that year and on average once every five years or so uh, we see rainfall in Corpus Christi. None of that here today. It's been dry of late 91 degrees right now. East to southeast wind 20 miles per hour out at the airport. Upper 80s at the beach, some triple digit values inland 100 in George West and then those heat index values almost everybody between 100 and 110. So it's very hot outside. If you are spending time uh, out and about, you know, you're probably not watching the news right now, but hydration critical if you're spending several hours of time outside. Heat advisories posted for almost everyone in the area till 8 o'clock this evening and wouldn't be surprised to see more of those issued throughout this week. A lot of sun out there, a few fair weather cumulus clouds, high pressure sitting off to our east. That's going to keep the humidity coming and you see all of these orange shades. Those are all heat related advisories. High pressure, a big ridge of it is going to be setting up itself right over the top of the central part of the country through the weekend may slide off to the west just a little bit next week. Nonetheless, though, Mid 90s in the day with heat index values up in the triple digits each day for the next seven days, and it's going to be drier than normal too with that high overhead. This chart takes us into the middle of July below average rainfall here for the next uh, six to 10 days. So we're looking dry here. Tropics settling down just a little bit. July tends to be a quieter month during the season. Bonnie, though, is a hurricane. This started on the Atlantic side crossed over Central America over the weekend and because it didn't fall apart, it retained its name on the Atlantic side, even though it's in the Pacific. So Bonnie going to continue to the West. It's not a threat for us, but it does mean again, we're knocking off some names here. Colin developed in the Southeast US already come and gone. Next name up on the list going to be Danielle. If you want to see something tonight other than fireworks, you're going to have to stay up a little bit later for it, but the space station going to cross over the hill country tonight. We'll be able to see it in the northwest sky between 1025 and about 1030. So if you want to see that, you have a chance to do it uh, this evening. Look to the northwest. It'll be looking like a, a moving star if you do happen to see it. 77 tonight, mild and humid, mainly clear skies and a southeast wind 6 to 12 miles per hour. Tomorrow, 95 heat index of 107, southeast wind 10 to 20 miles per hour. Air temperatures over, over 100 inland tomorrow. Heat index values everywhere between 100 and 110. If you're going out on the water, just some light chop out there. Water temperature at 87, two to three foot waves in the Gulf. You see those mid 90s with heat index values up near 110 uh, on some of the days over the next seven days. Going to be very hot and again, no organized rain chances other than maybe a spot sea breeze shower that I see over the next seven days. Leslie. All right, Alan, thanks.